here we are though now in the midst of winter. So what we're gonna talk about now, and it's in the news everywhere, it's respiratory viruses. Whether it's influenza, the coronavirus, people are on edge. When you're working in close quarters during the winter months in particular, that's when these viruses get transmitted. And they can get transmitted pretty easily if you're not careful. And so that's why in the hospital, we're very conscious of it, right? If you come in, you got a fever, cough, I, I'm going to protect myself. I'm gonna to try to protect everyone else there. And I think that's a good lesson for everyone right now. But the first part of preventing illness is understanding it. So right. I was going to play a little game of true oh, false with you. this is why you, you guys have signs, and right? The you audience. True, false? Okay. And this is important because these answers will help you protect yourself. So the first okay. one, the first question, you can spread respiratory viruses before you know you're sick. True or false? You all are so smart. That is true. Look, everybody, it, like two people had false. And those, and those two people you should stay far away from. <laughs> if, if there is a silver lining here, most often you are showing symptoms when you're able to transmit it. Because what's happening, maybe you're coughing, you're sneezing, those droplets are getting in the air, so you're more likely to catch it then. But it's just a reminder to all of us to be aware. I call it be germ aware, don't be a germaphobe. So if you're out in public traveling, just be aware the person next to you may look fine, but there is a chance you that know, they could transmit I was, a respiratory virus. I was virus. traveling for work recently, and I always take myself out of general population if I get a runny nose. Like, a lot of people get airplane sick, right? You just, the different pressure, mm -hmm. and you can just end up sneezy and drippy. After, any, anybody yep. can after you fly, and you're not really sick. You just, eh, you know? That's right. But the next morning, I'm like, mm, I don't know, so I'm going to stay in today. Like I, And, and I wanna, we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay. I'm proud of you for that okay. because part of we all play a role in this, right? right? So if I catch a respiratory virus, it's on me to pr try to prevent anyone else from That's catching right. it, and I'm a big believer in that. <laughs> All right, second question. Okay. True or false, antibiotics help with the flu and other respiratory viruses? False, right? So we have a few trues, but it is false. Right. Because remember, antibiotics are only effective against bacterial infection, and viruses are not bacteria. That's right. Unfortunately, that's why we don't have great antivirals out there. And it's also why we talk about if you come into the ER with a respiratory virus, my first thought is, how do I make you feel better? Are you severely dehydrated? Because you can only you, treat, right? You can you're only mainly treat the treating the symptoms. There are antivirals, but it's not like this perfect cure all.